baby. Come on, come on. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, no, this ain't All right, let's do this. What's going on, everybody? I'm not going to come at you here. Welcome to Driven Hard. If this is your first time, uh, my name's Emeka. If you are into Range Rovers, off-roading, guys just having fun with toys they love, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, give me a comment. Let me know where you're at in your part of the world. How you doing? But it is, we are actually under a rainfall warning today. I'm coming at you from Vancouver, BC. I'm over at Mission in Stave Lake. And uh, you know, rainfall warning means this place is gonna be soaked. It's gonna be a little muddy. So I uh, figured, why don't I come and check check out what traction is like on these new Michelin XI snow tires that we got. I'm thinking, <laughs> can you feel the back now? I'm thinking um, it should have a bit more traction than the standard Pirelli Scorpion that I'm usually running. Um, but uh, hey, let's check this out. Um, people think I should talk more during these videos. I just don't know what to say. It's weird to have a conversation with myself. But uh, I'll just kind of go through my my uh, thought process and show you guys what I like to do when I got a bit of time on my hands. Right? Finished work a bit early today and it's like, yeah, I have to go run a couple errands and this is, I guess, one of my errands. So. This forest road is pretty rutted out uh, already. There's a lot of big potholes everywhere. Um, yeah, actually, I'll put it in auto train response. And yeah, I gotta slow down a little bit here. It is really rutted out, huh? Woo! It is just coming down here. There's supposed to be a wind warning as well, so we got to get out of here before the wind picks up because trees and branches, they do tend to close down this road, as with any forest road. Um, and I do not have the time nor the cell service to stay out here um, after dark. Alright, so this is like one of my go-to... Look at these. This is one of my go-to spots for off-roading. Um, it's about 45 minutes or so out of Vancouver. Um, and uh, there's just a ton of spots out here that you can go to. Um, a lot of the Jeepers and everything, uh, they'll come out here and there's some like some gnarly stuff that I can't attempt um, out here for sure. But this is uh, definitely a place where um, you can have fun out in this area. It's called Stave Lake, uh, no matter what you're driving. Uh, I took a Discovery Sport out here and had a blast. Um, you know, I take this thing out here. Uh, if you don't know, this is my 2019 Range Rover Sport autobiography with the dynamic um, package. Wow, the road is sh today. This is crazy. It's usually not this bad this quickly here. So, that's all good. All good. Oh my God. Sorry, I'll stop, I'll stop being surprised at how bad the road is right now. Like it, usually you can go about 60 kilometers an hour still on this section. But, as you can tell from my head bobbing, that might not be the best idea right now. Oh, oh. Let me put on, so hopefully you can see the dash here. I'll put on the off-road view so we can take a look at what the diffs and, and wheel direction and all of that fun, overly complicated technology is doing. Okay, oh my God, sorry, one more time. This is, wow. Let me see if this side of the road is a little, a little easier. 
of course, we don't want the super shock shoulder to give way <laughs> to sink into that ditch because I ain't going to get out by myself. So we do got to maintain some space. So the reason I want to come out here is I wanted to, yeah, yeah, I was going a little too fast. I wanted to um, kind of scope out some some spots to do some testing of some more vehicles off road. I want to like, you know how like TFL and I don't know what that other guy is called who has a channel, but a lot of the reviewers they have like a course that they do. And uh, that's a great way to kind of look at vehicles from like an even standpoint, um, taking them all up the same type of course. Um, of course, I've only got my hands on a Discover Sport. I should be getting a Velar in a couple weeks. Oh wow, that's completely caved in. I used to be able to climb that. I'm always paranoid that the cameras are not taking everything in as they should be, but uh, I guess that's just when you're new. So on these type of roads, honestly, I don't feel the Range Rover's the best. Um, maybe a short wheelbase Wrangler with those solid axles just kind of hopping, hopping along all the holes. Um, you know, like I said, I have it in auto, so which should really have the suspension just in um, its comfort setting. But it's just... But I guess, you know, who wanted to complain, right? It's just coming down. Cannot wait to do this in the snow. Hopefully we get some snow pretty soon. Because um, that'll just make for some more adventures as well. It's never been opened before. What does that mean? Does that mean explore? What does the sign say? Industrial roads. This must not. No. No unauthorized entry. I don't have time to explore, but that is cool. I've never seen that gate open before. Some of these, um, this is one thing I learned actually from watching the YouTube channel, the story until now. Shout out to Sean, it's probably not going to see this. Um, but he's actually from this area as well. And you can contact the municipalities, um, the cities here, and you can actually get keys to open some of these gates that go into like some proper off-road trails. And I was just, that blew my mind. And there's one right by my house, which is like two minutes from my house. It's the trailhead where it's gated off. We got some serious deforestation here. That's all clear gutted. Um, it's like two minutes from my house, um, and 
yeah, you can get a gate and go off it. Um, but those are like, those are definitely the trails you need some proper, um, proper tires and probably some better approach angles than you're gonna get on a stock Range Rover. I know my limitations. But, uh, you know, that, it's, it's, that's just kind of cool. For those of you who live in a city, right, um, having something like that at your backyard that's only a few minutes away is so cool. Versus, like, this took me, like, 45 minutes to drive out to, and I'll spend maybe an hour here because it's daylight, and then you got to drive all the way back uh, another 45 minutes, and then run the errands that I had to go run for the way. So, and run the truck through the car wash. So there is a little section where I've done a video on it where I was testing out the different traction control modes on the train response. Um, so we're going to climb that. It's going to be super saturated though, super wet, um, which means it's just going to be straight mud. And if I've learned anything is tires, unless they're mud trains, do not like mud. Um, of course, I haven't really tested these out yet. They are more aggressive than the standard Pirellis I was talking about earlier. But, <laughs> these aren't still, these aren't all-terrain tires, right, or anything like that. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can climb it, how I can climb it. No, there won't be any uh, outside shots today because this is not happening today, guys. <laughs> so, you just coming along for the ride with me, and, uh, and that's that. There's a Wrangler. I do get the funniest looks when I come out here though. Like the funniest looks. It's like, let's be honest, right? And you know, those of you watching the channel, you're obviously into this. You know, um, you know, you probably are taking your, your Range Rover off-road. Um, maybe not. But the majority of people, they are not used to seeing a Range Rover go off-road. I'd even say the majority of people don't know how capable these things actually are. Did I want to go down there? off-road height right now it'd be like throw me over to the other side of the car not comfortable in off-road height at all
<laughs> yeah, I was thinking about this. But, you know, it shows you what the diffs are doing. Hopefully you can see that on the camera, what the diffs are doing right now. I'm like, do you really care what your diffs are doing? As long as you got forward momentum or you're not getting stuck, who cares what the car is doing? But, you know, because it's not like you can control it, right? I can't actually manually lock the center of the rear diff, right? They're electronically locked. Um, see, now they're all fully locked. Uh, now just center's locked. But that just happens based on what is going on and all the uh, computer parameters um, that Land Rover has programmed into this thing. But, uh, like, and don't get me wrong, I love looking and seeing what they're doing. It's cool. But it's so unnecessary. But it's cool. So, Land Rover, keep doing it. So, no man's land over there, if you can see that, to the right of me. Um, so, the water will go all the way down, usually. Um, and you can go, it's just a big mud field. And uh, you can do a whole bunch of redneck stuff. If that's your thing. Right, if that is your thing. people like drive on these roads for hours because I'm honestly getting a little tired of it and it's been like that Still in auto mode, obviously high range. Ford Raptor coming up here. Or nope, just a regular F-150. That must be a brand new one. Able to used to be able to go up that. That's where I would do my videos, and it's all like gutted out. They've been doing some serious work. <laughs> uh, so here, what we're gonna do? Uh, I wonder how slippery this is gonna be. Yeah, so we're just gonna put this into neutral. We're gonna enter low range. You're gonna select drive. Mm, I'm going to go with mud and ruts and I'm actually going to use the ultra in progress control to set my speed okay so no pedals no pedals I'm gonna hit the setting angle in a little bit. Suspension's high up. Increase speed a little bit more. This is gonna be slippery. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna, I think they've actually blocked the exit. So I gotta go check, check that out.
cancel that guys they've blocked the exit and there's it's too narrow to turn around up there so um, let's take off low range that's too bad that's really too bad This is where I filmed one of the videos up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's soft. Just let so set the speed for the altar in progress control. Still in high range. This is seven kilometers an hour. Should have switched to low range for that, but you know, well, we good, we good. Let's just slow you down a little bit. Oh, so it doesn't cancel it. That's so cool. Somebody asked the question if, oh, did it cancel it? If you touch the brake, does it cancel it like it does cr cruise control? And it looks like it does. No, it, yes, it does. It's canceled. Let's go climb that. So what I'm gonna do is put this into low range. Have a sip of coffee. Uh -huh. Drive, S2. I'm gonna put this on the sand mode. Oops, that's gonna be way too fast. And we're going to climb the center. That. No feet. Can I have my off road information, please? Off road information, please. Oh, this is going to be easy peasy. I'm going to purposely put my tire in that little rut to see what happens. There it is. It's working. It's working. It's working, it's working, and I can't see, so I need cameras. Confirmation. That was cool. Switching a 
first. And it just creeps along in first, huh? Okay, so here, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna turn around, we're gonna try to climb that. And it looks like it's, That looks tough. That looks really tough, actually. The reason being, it looks so, it's just super soft and wet sand, right? Um, so maybe I'll tackle it and go up that side. Right. Hey, give me a comment, give me a like if you guys enjoying this content so far. Once again, let's use Dream Progress Control because I am trying to get more comfortable with this setting. You can tell there's some much fatter tires than I have. Dug, dug some pretty big holes there, but all right, Ranch, let's do it. Right, let's stick to my line. All right, baby, come on, come on, let's do it. Oh yeah, no, this ain't. Gonna do anything today? She's just trying to figure it out. No. More momentum. Oh, look at the deep ass holes I dug. Y'all stop beeping. No, that ain't happening. God, just almost a quicksand. Jesus. All right, <clears throat> let's get out of here. That, yeah, no, that stuff is just, it's about that much of wet, wet sand. Through. Woo! 
All right, let's do a quick walk around. See what else there is to play with. Um, I'll put this in auto mode. That's interesting. When altering progress controls on, it turns off your hill descent control. Hmm. I don't like not conquering stuff. No. Very interesting. Alright. Alright, what else is there we can play with? I don't think anything else I can get up with these type of tires, um, right? I think it's just at its limit. Love hill descent control. All right, it's just. I need, I got up that before. Right, like, I don't even think, like, if I took a run, like, more running to start. Right, like, just, okay, let me just think, let me just think here. Right, all right, let me just think here. So those two boulders is what you heard the big bang off. Like if I just, you know, a little bit more momentum, perhaps. Uh, let's think. So, yeah, uh, grass, gravel, snow. And we're gonna have low traction, low traction on. I just, I think it's going to be too soft. Fight that another day. Come on, come on, figure it out. Okay, you're almost home. You're almost home. Let's do it. Come on, let them apart. Oh, yeah. So, this is like, this is what it's like owning a Range Rover. It's no different than anybody else. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Uh, obviously, I had fun. <laughs> Let me know what you're driving hard. Until next time, everybody, drive hard.